Participation in the political process is essential to affirming the rights we have today and creating a better, more equitable world for the next generation. Etymologically, vote comes from Latin and means a vow. And I like that because it suggests that when you vote, you're making a kind of promise, investing in a level of involvement and participation and responsibility. We have fought for the right to vote. Women died for the right to vote. And what a lot of people don't realize is every time you skip an election, you're effectively giving somebody else the power to make decisions for you. And statistically, that is gonna be an older white guy. We are half of the population. We should be half of the folks at the table making those decisions. We wanna be able to have you as, as young women, for example, to live a life where you can explore and learn and enjoy your life and be free also to, to live the kind of life you wanna live. And so that can only happen if we exercise our right to vote. If you're uh, not voting, then your voices are not only not being heard, but the issues that matter to you that impact your daily lives, be it related to education or healthcare or the roads, all of those decisions are made and being made without your input. One of the things that I hear from women is that you don't feel like you know enough to get involved. You don't know every policy issue. You don't know who's running at every level. There are so many resources out there. And trust me, when you look around at some of the men who are making decisions, you are much more qualified than you give yourself credit for. Let me tell you this right now. Your story, your family's experience matters. And without your participation, we're missing out on your really critical uh, expertise insight and perspectives. One of the most important things we have to do is to be involved and to make sure that every woman we know who has the right to vote, it shouldn't have taken a hundred years to get them the right to vote, but now it's one of the most important responsibilities we have. You have to vote, be willing to see your own name on the ballot, be willing to vote for other women on the ballot and understand if you're not in the room, if you're not participating, you're not gonna have the opportunity to be heard. I'm an American and I'm a proud American and I go to the polls to have my voice heard and have representation that truly represents me and my American ideals. Congratulations on the centennial anniversary of the right to vote. Now it's our responsibility to make sure we do.